The colorful My Sims characters ditch the go-karts in favor of magnifying glasses in this latest entry in the whimsical series, My Sims Agents. While there are gadgets to master and exotic missions to complete, the game is more Scooby-Doo than James Bond. Huh? Is there evidence here of a great game? Or is the action hopelessly clueless? Craig's <laughs> Taba Iba. Oh, Nebby Slew. An evil mastermind named Morcubus is using his corporation to search for a powerful artifact called the Nightmare Crown, and your job is to determine why. Each area you explore is home to one or more cases to crack, bringing you one step closer to revealing Morcubus's nefarious schemes. Each also features a number of offbeat characters, from a hairspray-using salon owner to your bumbling, bacon-loving partner, who inject the game with considerable personality. The crackpot cases will keep you playing from start to finish, even as the action rarely deviates from scene to scene. You'll help a yeti prove he didn't smash up a sauna, figure out why a zombie butler may have destroyed a precious crystal, determine the true owner of a yipping puppy, <laughs> identify the person responsible for starting a restaurant fire, and more. Expect to grin and chuckle throughout your time as a special agent, as all the cases offer plenty of sight gags and humorous writing. <laughs> My Sims Agents has you exploring a handful of themed environments from the town's main street to remote locations like a mansion on the bayou or a mountain resort. You'll talk to those who need your help, use your tools to survey the crime scenes, perform some jumping or tightrope walking to reach higher areas, and collect the evidence needed to solve the case. Then, after a cutscene, it's back to your headquarters. Your agency's headquarters is where most of the traditional Sims design resides. Here you can personalize all four floors by collecting and unlocking various pieces of furniture, objects, paints, and more. You can recruit up to 12 characters, each offering different specialties to work in your headquarters. Three agents can be assigned to a floor and will work together as a team in special dispatch missions that take place independently of your cases. You'll be kept apprised of each team's misadventures via phone, and every now and then, you'll have to make a decision for them that may help or hinder their chance of success. Each completed dispatch mission will earn you new furniture, recruit choices, or clothing options. Yibsy. Twab? The biggest problem with My Sims Agent's design is how linear it is. There's no penalty for mistakes, and since you don't have to worry about time limits or death, the game will not pose a challenge to older audiences. <laughs> the main storyline can be completed in less than 10 hours, so if you aren't particularly interested in playing dress-up or home decorator, there's not much else to keep you interested. While each minigame can be revisited from an arcade cabinet in your headquarters, there are no adjustable difficulty settings or new challenges. They are the same exact puzzles you've already encountered. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While there are light platforming elements, the gameplay in My Sims Agents is best described as an adventure, since you're primarily searching the environment for clues and manipulating objects to reach new areas. <laughs> Your agent comes equipped with three tools of the trade, each accessed from the directional pad. A magnifying glass conveniently reveals footprints of potential perpetrators, which often lead you to another clue. There's a crowbar you use to pry open latches or to smash obstacles, and a wrench to salvage or repair broken machinery. As you progress, you'll receive automatic upgrades to each tool that will expand its function. The crowbar will turn into an F-Space manipulator, for example, which fires a Ghostbusters-like electrical beam at objects like crates and barrels so they can be rearranged on a grid to create stairs. Among the best aspects of My Sims Agents are the four types of interactive puzzles you'll complete to pick locks, scan items, hack computer terminals, and repair broken machinery. Each takes you to a separate minigame that will have you using the Wii Remote in various ways. You'll piece together gears, wires, and belts to get a machine working, similar to Sierra's classic computer title, The Incredible Machine, perform a sliding puzzle to move a key toward a lock, guide a circle through a maze while trying to avoid touching the edges, and arrange color molecules to complete a chemical analysis. <laughs> 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 My
My Sims agents look similar to the LEGO titles on the system, albeit with less blocky characters. You'll explore 3D locales from a fixed perspective, and each area is disappointingly small in size and scope, with barriers such as trees, walls, and vehicles in place to make sure you don't stray from the designated region. <laughs> the characters make up for the small environments as they go about their daily business, talk in garbled voices with each other, and perform various other animated antics. <laughs> At Junka Black, huh? Oh. My Sims Agents is a solid entry in the series, filled with memorable encounters and characters. Fans of My Sims Kingdom will certainly enjoy the change of setting. While older players will breeze through it and yearn for more things to see and do, younger ones will enjoy the mini games, agency customization, and quirky cases. So long as you approach it on its own terms, My Sims Agents is a title well worth investigating. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>